Hello everybody, my name is Kelan and welcome back to my channel where we're continuing our journey into Modern Warfare 3 with the next episode of the Juggernaut with Every Gun Show series where I attempt to get the attack Juggernaut kill streak with every single weapon in the game and in this episode I am using the USAS-12 or the USAS-12. It is the default shotgun in this game and I kind of have a lot to say about this shotgun and shotguns in general. Like people say in Modern Warfare 3, shotguns aren't that great of weapons for me personally they're kind of hard to use as well that's why i kind of tend to wait to stay away from the shotguns however it's about your aim it is always about your aim isn't it but in particular for the shotguns if you're gonna hit fire your aim is absolutely critical if you want to kill the opponent in one shot and this is also kind of a reason too why i always suggest to take away those outer crosshair things you know like those things that are like surrounding your metal dot of your crosshair when you're using the wii remote i definitely recommend that you take those things out because they're at they're useless they really don't do anything they just serve as distraction because no matter how big or small those things grow it doesn't really matter how accurate your weapon is i really don't care how accurate my weapon is what i do care about is if my center dot is on the opponent because if my center dot is on the opponent and I fire my weapon that weapon will do damage to the opponent so I always recommend to take away those outer crosshairs because they absolutely you know they really don't do anything they don't guide you they don't do anything and they just serve as a distraction here's the reason why especially for shotguns I recommend taking them out if your dot for the shotguns, if your dot is just a little smidgen to the right or a little smidgen to the left of the opponent and you shoot your weapon, they will not die and you will get hit markers and you will rage because you, you complain so much that you get hit markers all the time with shotguns. That is the main reason why people don't like to use shotguns is because you have to have your entire center dot right on the enemy. And I don't mean just the legs or the arms because, you know, the, the, the area of hitbox, the hitbox area isn't really big for legs and arms. If you want to get that one kill, that one shot kill, you have to put your entire dot onto the torso of the opponent in order to kill them. That's the way to use the shotgun. That's the way to get those one hit kills. And that's why people, like I said, people complain so much about the shotguns that they're weak and they have to use like damage. You know, I, I refuse to use a shotgun without extended mags, damage, and you know range or whatever whatever the case is but really you know those things are only just marginal help it's just kind of like a psychological thing the real damage the real performance the real results will come into you just you know like I said just aiming literally aiming take out those outer crosshair things aim that center dot right on the opponent and shoot them and they will die they will die like like some some of the kills you're seeing here they will die and so that's enough about, that's a little, you know, my beef about the shotguns or whatever, or my little analysis about the shotguns. The USAS-12, in my opinion, feels a lot like the M1014 from COD4. I know a lot of you guys, you know, maybe Modern Warfare 3 is your first game, but, you know, it's just, you know, the M1014 and the USAS-12 both have slow semi-automatic fire, which is kind of good, you know, because you know you can adjust your shots, not like as fast as a striker. We can just go ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. You know that little delay in the shots can help you readjust your aim if you miss the first time. Um, but then again, you know people don't like it because it's kind of I guess not really as good as the other weapons because of the fire rate and damage. But all in all, like with all weapons in the game, if you if you grow accustomed to it, if you can get used to its fire, and if you can you you know just use it quite a lot. You'll get used to it and you will get kills with it and you will do pretty well with it. Just like with every weapon in the game. If you practice with the weapon, you know, it's just obvious things that I'm saying. But if you practice with it, if you get used to it, if you get used to its, you know, how it feels and all that stuff, you'll do pretty well. You'll do fine. In terms of attachments for the USAS-12, there isn't really a good list of attachments to use. There's only really like the grip, the silencer, the red dot, the hollow. And then the extended mag. So pretty much, guys, it's kind of obvious. Extended mag is probably the best attachment to use for every shotgun in the game, so you don't have to reload as often. The other, the others aren't so good. The silencer isn't really good. That is where you really will get a lot of hit markers, and you will really complain because the damage of an already kind of weak weapon goes way down with the silencer. Um, the red dot is also fine too. In the meantime, if you're waiting for the extended mags, because some of the iron sights are kind of hard to use, and the, and the red dot side makes it a lot easier to, you know, confirm. That you can put your entire dot over the torso of the enemy like I always say. That is obviously when aiming downside and that's about it guys from the, for this little mini analysis of the USAS-12. If you guys like this or you like my videos please subscribe and like the videos thank you very much that helps me a lot obviously to grow my channel 
And if you want to see more videos, obviously I'm going to be putting out more commentaries. And hopefully I can do this kind of two-a-day thing with the Juggernaut Every Gun Show series because I have a lot of them stocked up and I really have to push them out. So I'm hoping, you know, maybe I can do it two-a-day of the Juggernaut Every Gun Show series to a pop a day. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see in the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this and I'm out. Peace.